In discussing the current economic climate, the term inflation is unavoidable, especially with increasing costs and interest rates. Globally, many countries are grappling with soaring inflation rates. However, Switzerland, a small, mountainous nation in Western Europe, presents a contrasting picture. In 2022, Switzerland experienced its highest inflation in 29 years at 3.5% a significant number for the country, but still markedly lower than the double-digit inflation seen in other advanced economies like the US, the UK, and the Eurozone. By November 2023, Switzerland's inflation rates decreased further to 1.4%. This leads to a pertinent question. What unique aspects of the Swiss economy have helped it largely sidestep severe inflation? And what lessons could other countries glean from its approach? Before we move forward, click that like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. This channel will keep you updated on the most intriguing videos on economic topics all around the world. Switzerland's unique position in the realm of inflation is influenced by several factors. First off, the country's price levels start from a high baseline. Known as one of the wealthiest nations globally, Switzerland boasts a GDP of nearly $99,000 per capita, surpassing major economies like the US, Japan, and Germany. It's also home to some of the world's wealthiest individuals, with an average personal wealth of nearly $700,000, aligned with a correspondingly high cost of living. In 2023, Swiss cities like Zurich and Geneva remained among the top 10 most expensive cities worldwide. Maintaining their status, even as inflation escalated living costs in other high-cost cities such as Singapore, New York, and Tel Aviv. This may be because of the considerable wealth of the average citizen, which translates to a unique spending pattern where the proportion of household income spent on food is relatively lower compared to other countries. Where it's acknowledged that inequality does exist within the nation, from a broader international viewpoint, Switzerland is recognized for having an effective social policy. This policy, when combined with the country's general wealth, shapes a distinct economic scenario, balancing between the costs of living and social welfare. As a result, Swiss residents are generally less affected by rising prices, as a smaller portion of their income is allocated to essential expenses, compared to discretionary spending like vacations and hobbies, which can be adjusted in response to inflation. Another factor contributing to Switzerland's price stability is the strength of the Swiss franc. The national currency has constantly appreciated, achieving parity with the euro in 2022 and gaining further strength in 2023. In contrast to many major currencies which weakened against the US dollar in 2022, the Swiss franc remains stable, particularly amidst European volatility. This stability is largely attributed to its reputation as a safe haven currency or a defensive asset. Supported by a substantial reserve of gold, bonds, and financial assets, the Swiss National Bank has been able to maintain the currency stability in turbulent times. The Swiss franc status as a safe haven currency originated around 100 years ago, post-World War I, and this trend continued during events like the COVID pandemic, when demand for the Swiss franc surged. The robust Swiss franc is a key asset for Switzerland's economy, which is largely dependent on international trade. In 2020, Switzerland's imports accounted to around $300 billion, mainly sourced from EU countries. The strength of the Swiss franc makes these imports relatively cheaper. Also, in 2020, Switzerland's exports, which were roughly equivalent to imports, primarily consisted of high-value items like watches and pharmaceuticals. These goods are generally more stable in price compared to lower-margin, mass-produced items. Furthermore, Switzerland is not as vulnerable to certain fluctuating external influences that have driven up prices in 2022 and 2023, such as the escalated oil and gas costs resulting from the conflict in Ukraine. Switzerland, with its approximately 1,500 lakes and many rivers, heavily relies on hydropower for its energy needs. This source of energy contributes to over 10% of the nation's total energy consumption, reducing its dependence on imported oil and gas, unlike several other European countries. The Swiss energy sector is predominantly state-owned, which buffers it against severe market fluctuations due to established financial safeguards, although this also subjects it to more rigorous price controls. Despite Switzerland's image as a liberal nation, it exercises considerable government regulation over prices in key sectors such as energy and housing. This approach doesn't eliminate inflation, but rather spreads its impacts over a longer period, mitigating the intensity of short-term inflationary effects. By the end of 2022, energy prices in Switzerland had increased by 16.2% and by 25.5% in 2023. 
which were lower compared to the hikes experiences in countries like Germany, the Netherlands, the UK, and Italy. For 2024, the Swiss Energy Regulator anticipates a further 18% increase, with the average annual household energy bill expected to exceed 1,446 Swiss francs. The standardization of long-term energy contracts has provided a buffer for certain businesses against the rising costs experienced in 2023. In the hospitality sector, higher-end hotels offer dynamic pricing structures that may have been instrumental in managing these economic challenges. By increasing the prices by approximately 5-10%, to these establishments have been able to pass on a portion of the increased costs to consumers without significantly affecting demand. This flexibility in pricing, as opposed to fixed rates, offers a substantial advantage, allowing these businesses to adapt more effectively to economic fluctuations. However, this approach may not be as feasible for lower-tier hotels like two- or three-star establishments. These hotels typically cater to a more cost-sensitive clientele, which could make them more vulnerable to the adverse effects of such economic shifts. Switzerland also implements strict regulations on the pricing of various goods and services, which helps shield them from inflation-induced volatility. Among the key items used to gauge inflation in the Eurozone, such as food, housing and transport, nearly one-third are regulated in Switzerland, a higher proportion than any other European country. Additionally, high tariffs on specific agricultural imports ensure that locally produced food items, like milk and cheese, enjoy competitive pricing and are less affected by global market fluctuations. In the hospitality context, a notable strategy involves a strong emphasis on regionally sourced products. This approach encompasses local staples such as bread and dairy products. The rationale behind this strategy is twofold. It supports and sustains a robust local industry and aids in the support of local farmers by purchasing their products. This not only contributes positively to the local economy, but also offers a degree of stability and resilience against fluctuations in the global market. By relying on regional supplies, these establishments can maintain a consistent quality of offerings while also reinforcing local economic networks. In December 2022, food prices in Switzerland saw an annual increase of 4%, which was significantly lower compared to 11.9% in the US, 16.9% in the UK, and 19.8% in Germany. The disparity lessened in 2023, with Swiss food prices rising by 3.2% compared to 5.8% in both the US and Germany, and 9.2% in the UK. At Huber's restaurant, the relatively low rate of inflation allows for a straightforward approach to offsetting increased food costs by adjusting meal prices. However, they remain mindful not to overdo the price hikes. Despite these factors, it's important to note that Swiss consumers haven't been completely shielded from the recent surge in prices. Many are experiencing a notable financial strain, particularly with the rising costs of energy like electricity and groceries. Those most affected tend to be individuals with lower income or living in poverty, who are finding these increases especially challenging. The Swiss Central Bank anticipates that inflation will decrease to an average of 1.9% in 2024, then further to 1.7% in 2025. Despite potential recessionary conditions, there is still a steady inflow of consumers, which helps maintain a stable demand. This trend is expected to continue through 2024 and 2025. Considering the lessons other countries might draw from the Swiss approach, it's important to recognize that replacing Switzerland's exchange rate policy is challenging, especially for the Eurozone, which needs to account for the economic dynamics of 27 member countries. While adopting a model similar to Switzerland's might benefit some countries in terms of import prices, it could adversely affect their export competitiveness. A crucial aspect to consider is the ownership of energy production. For other nations, partially renationalizing energy sectors could be a strategic move to enhance resilience and ensure that long-term planning prioritizes consumer interests. In contrast, many European countries have shifted towards privatization of their energy sectors. Though initially perceived as a beneficial strategy, it has proven to be less resilient in the face of recent challenges, leading to current difficulties. At the same time, Switzerland's more conservative approach, particularly in maintaining state control in key sectors, was viewed by some as overly cautious. However, in hindsight, this decision has proven to be advantageous, suggesting that a more measured, long-term approach in certain areas such as energy production can yield substantial benefits. We hope this video gave you an insight into how Switzerland has managed to almost beat inflation, while other countries struggle. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more in-depth global economic content.